Well, as you saw from the pictures, um, this, whoops, um, this was, um, my outing with my sister, because we haven't been since, well, by the pictures, it's been since 2020, so it's been a long while, <laughs> so I did get some stuff, <laughs> obviously, um, and by the way, that spicy ramen was fantastic. It's too bad that they didn't have any uh, soup proof uh, leftover takeout boxes because I still had some soup left because I obviously my stomach isn't as big as normal so I couldn't really finish that was just sad but um, I brought home the noodles and, and the two gyoza and the one to fried tofu I had left so I ate that that night. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I was tempted to record this some yesterday because I was feeling a bit peckish and I have my snacks in here. <laughs> but I, yeah. Anyway, so I didn't actually take pictures of inside stores because I was a bit pressed for time because it kind of took a bit long and this the first initial bus we were going to take so that's why we decided to stay longer for lunch. Then we sort of missed the first that we were going to take at 2.10 then we took a different one after we got to that bus stop <laughs> it was what 2.35 or something like that so um yeah so we got that one then we had to wait for like 30 well almost an hour or so for the other bus to come so we can actually get home because we had two buses to take on the way home. Anyway, I'm uh, a little bit blathering about. Um, so, um, oh, well I left the receipts up there and I'm currently on the floor so I can't actually get them. Hang on. Uh, let's see if I can reach. Oh, yes, I can reach at least some of them. Okay, so let's see. I've got some, yeah. Some, uh, what was it? 2.29 was the bus home we got, and the 9.50 was the second bus. I think it was the second bus. Because we got the 8.50 to Pontyclean. I think. Yeah. So then the 9.50. Her. And luckily I've got a bus pass, so, well obviously since I took my wheelchair with me. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so, it was the uh, 122. Not that you really need to know. Then like, it's to uh, Cardiff Center, or so. That was the... No, it was to Cardiff Castle. It was to there. Then it was from Cardiff Center. On that bus. Anyway. You're not here for the bus. So this is, um... Pretty sure I... I don't know if I actually took a picture of this yet. But anyway. It is the... <clears throat> in the uh, St. David's 2. Bill for table 7. Tab, tab started at 108. Hmm. So I got the Kyushu spicy tonkatsu ramen with pork. Then I added the two um, extras of uh, two pieces of fried tofu and two pieces of gyoza. Totally forgot it already came with one gyoza. Was already... But anyway, I also had them take out the uh, <coughs> the bean sprouts. So they can't really eat those. I'd be, uh, I'd be spending most of my time picking them out. It's a bit of a waste of food. So I can't eat them. Anyway, that was at a two pound twenty-five each. The spicy ramen and 
my sister's normal ramen uh, is at 13 pounds 65 each and she had a grape lemonade 3.95 and that and for dessert we shared because we were kind of late um, three piece mango mochi which was very good and we finished eating or at least something we had to go anyway at 158 and our uh, our initial <clears throat> as I said was 210 for some reason either that came early or that didn't come at all. Um, so we got the two. Well, it says that it was 2:29 that I actually got home. So anyway, so that's that. So here we are. Do I get this receipt? Oh, it's over here. Okay, so. We'll do the pound land receipt because that's all the loose things in here. So these <clears throat> were a, uh, a nice deal. They were technically one seventy-five, but it was on a multi-buy savings of two for three. So only paid three pounds for that one. And it is my favorite flavor of Texas barbecue. Um, I also got these. It's a rainbow version, or just normal. It says craft sticks, basically the popsicle sticks. I got them for my resin. So I can stir things. Because I only actually really have one silicone kind of stirrer thing, and that came with the mica powder, or the chameleon powder, whatever, kit thing. So I needed more things to stir with. And also, I can even, I don't know, make something out of it. I mean, I do have a hot glue gun. I've never actually opened it from the packaging, but I do have it. I already found it in my other box in the storage room, so. So, that's for my resin craft stuff. Let's put that over there. Nope, that's gonna fall. Oh, I'll just put it back. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so next up we have these lovely sweet chili flavored Cheetos. I've never actually tried these ones before. It'd help if I pointed the camera at the, at the pack in. So I got these. I've never actually tried, and I'm repeating myself, but I never tried those ones before. I've tried the, uh, was it hot? Flaming hot? Yeah, flaming hot flavor, which is good too. Then let's see. The own, oh, speaking of hot, is this one. So it's the one now, and I haven't ever tried it before. It says hot sauce blaze. So strong. And, uh, well, I don't drink beer, so. They're gonna be good on the <laughs> Let's see, I might as well tell you the price, isn't it? Um, then we've got, see the tri Sweet Chili Cheetos was one pound. The Walkers, what I just showed you, was one pound seventy-five. Craft Sticks was 80p. Um, the next one is one pound twenty-five, which is this. It's the flaming hot lobsters. You can tell I like hot, spicy stuff. It's also perfect for the winter time because then your face would be completely warm. Anyway, <laughs> and you won't need covers, that's for sure. Okay, so next up we have these two. I haven't tried these before. I only tried the original. So these are the Lotus Biscoff with vanilla cream and with Biscoff cream. There's 11 biscuits in each. Basically it's a sandwich biscuit, isn't it? Kind of reminds me of an Oreo or something. Same thing as vanilla flavor. And Biscoff. 
there should be fun to try. So the other things I have in here, <clears throat> I already put it in a separate box because they're for my friend's Christmas present. Yeah, it's not even the first thing, Christmas thing I bought. I mean, I already wrapped up a couple of things already. I have them hidden under my desk. Well, not really hidden, I just don't have anywhere to put them. But, um, yes. I've already got, like, two, three, four, maybe eight things already wrapped up. And I got that, like, in February. <laughs> so the... Lotus Biscoff stuff, biscuits, were one pound each. And I got a set of three, because they also have a chocolate cream version for my friend. Because I don't like chocolate, so I don't like chocolate much. I mean, it's okay, so, like, I like Lindor and Galaxy, so, and Milky Way, but that's mainly not really much chocolate, it's just coated in chocolate shells. But anyway. <coughs> So that's that, and I did get her a box of tea. I won't say which type, but that one was 150. So I still have to figure out what else to get her for Christmas. But she like she likes her tea and biscuits. So that is Poundland. So uh, so that's that. So. Like, half the main reason why I went is in this book. Oh, wait. I also got this as well. I'll open this in, in a uh, different video with a different uh, Harry Potter mystery box I found. I totally forgot. I still had it. <laughs> I've got it on the desk somewhere, but I'll open this along with the other one. So I'll have more than one thing in the video. Because I don't really do Blind Bag Wednesday anymore. I've got distracted with pins and... Well, before that I got distracted with trading cards. But anyway, yeah. So I'll be opening this. And coincidentally, this one was the only pack that was not opened in that store. Which was... Huh. Um... Oh yeah, the store was, uh... The Card Factory. That's in St. David's too, as well. So what is that? So... Inside here... As you might be able to tell from the bag, I went to Forbidden Planet. And uh, you can find that opposite the Cardiff Castle. I mean, the one I go to anyway. It has loads of figures upstairs. <clears throat> and like, there's a whole like row of uh, Demon Slayer figures there as well. Only had three or so. Um, slime figures. So I chose one that I didn't have, since I have his dragon form. Um, so I wanted to use his human form instead, to uh, go with his dragon form. I haven't opened his dragon form yet either, because I have no space and I still need to really clean. Like, even though I cleaned under my desk, I put things there after I did that, so. I'll have to reshuffle things about again sometime. But currently I've got things taking up space because I have basically that stuff, stuff in there. And all those tins are to sell. Those are the mystery tins of 140 cards. Some of them have more than 140. But yes, I like in that gray fabric bag. I've got, well that's box one of pins. Box two of pins is over there. In that box, I got loads of the Harry Potter Funkos from the Harry Potter Funko advent calendars. Another thing. Another Harry Potter Funkos as well. Um, yes, so it's it's very it's very full back there. <sighs> yeah. And like it's very full on the desk too. I still need to fix fix things. I'd probably put those too. But I don't really want to give, give, give them away or sell them because 
They're music boxes. And the shortbread music boxes. And they sound very nice. Initially, I was going to save them for um, having them as the background during Christmas video related videos, but I kind of tend to forget. <laughs> I kept them under my desk and totally forgot about them. Yeah, that's very typical of me. <clears throat> anyway, back to, you know. So, what I got was this. This is Veldora, his human form. This series, I guess, is Otherworlder. I guess that is how you would spell it, because there is no L in the Japanese alphabet. But it's pronounced Veldora. In English. So it's like, it's a Verudora. It's kind of, because they use R's instead of L's for certain sounding things like that. So. Oh yeah, the other one that they did have, they did have the one Rimuru one, but they also had Gobruto there as well. But I decided to leave him there for now, because he isn't exactly a favorite character. I mean, he's hilarious. He's a hilarious idiot, but um, he's not really a favorite favorite of mine, so I wanted to get a different figure for us. Let's kind of see it peeking over. The, um, so this is his human form. I'll be doing another video when I actually finally open this when I have space. So look forward to that. Might not come in a few years depending on if I can clean things and finally sell things. Hint, hint, please go to my eBay. Anyway. <clears throat> My name is I have everything set for UK only, but do message me and I'll, I'll send it anywhere, really. I think. Most places. But anyway. One of the reasons why I went to Forbidden Planet was because I had to return a couple of duplicates that was accidentally ended up in my long, long <laughs> um, shopping spree when I was with Dad last time in uh, October last year. It took me a while to actually get back there, but when I did message them on Facebook, they said no time limit, so. Yep. <clears throat> I don't like going on the bus on my own. Um, so like, I had four, um, manga books I had to return that were four duplicates. So, yeah, that basically paid for one, for, for that, that figure in there, and like, Two pounds or something off that off that. Just like it's uh ten, twenty, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, ninety-seven, twenty-eight, ninety-seven or so that I had off. And the other one is a twenty seven ninety nine. This one was twenty two ninety nine. So this is what I well it is when it comes out of the box. <laughs> come on. Come out of the bag. Come on. Come on. Grab it. Work with me. It does not wish to work with me. And that's holding the camera. And it is... Ta-da! It's Maple from Bofuri. Um, what was the rest of the English now? I don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense. I think that's the full title. I just refer to it as Bofuri because it's easier and less to write because I'm lazy. So this is Maple. I didn't have one of her as a figure in my collection, so... Yes. It was tempting to get the rumor one, but I wanted... This one. If you haven't watched this anime, it is hilarious. You should watch it. Also with slime as well. You should watch that one too. So 
I think that's it. So thank you for watching. Like us for more. Ring the doorbell for notifications. Over and out.